So second fight of the night between in the blue corner, Seal Khan, the Manchester Sean Jackson. Looking forward to seeing Sahil Khan with that explosive amateur record. 28 stoppages and 70 wins, 18 in the first round, Chip. Impressive. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, as an amateur as well, considering the gloves are a lot more padded. Yeah, though so it is. Yeah, and, but, and it also it also shows that, you know, that he comes out fast. I would imagine throws lots of punches as well, because in amateurs you've got you can thrust the thrust their opponents, get the referee to step in early. Well, aggressive on the front foot, explosive. He means business to Hill Khan. Creeping forward, good variation with the jab. Yeah, jab's still working well for him, isn't it? Going through the gears, working head, body. It's very confident so far. It is very like confident it. start. Jumping in left hooks like Roy Jones, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I say, Khan trains at the One Nation gym in Derby. Clifton Mitchell. I was just corrected on the notes. I had 63 wins in the amateurs. But it was ex-pro Nathaniel Howe and coach Cole Wiggins, ex-Midlands champion, said no. Nope, it's not 63, it's 70, but the stoppages are correct. 28 again I'll repeat that 28 in the amateurs 18 in the first round on the fur on the front foot poking out the jab trying to draw out the lead of Sean Jackson trying to look for the openings An impressive confident start so far yeah it is Khan. isn't it it is you know, again you know he obviously got fast hands wants to make an impression but he hasn't he hasn't rushed his work he's been nice and controlled behind that jab that really good long jab that he's using He's been picking his shots, you know, sat behind, sat on the back leg nice and just stalking his opponent and picking the shots as he goes. Yeah, that well, perfectly, perfect example there with that, with that right hand there, right on the centre of the guard. Yeah, he's in with Sean Jackson, yet to pick up a win in the pros, but the first thing you notice on his record, he's yet to be stopped. He's fought three times this month already. Push back though into that neutral corner. Some nice work with that right hand from Sahil Khan. Well, Khan you know, maintained that distance, so when he's throwing his punches, they're still nice and long, not allowing Jackson to hold on or close the gap. It's only when he jumps in like that that, that they get they get close enough for Jackson to, to turn him or to grab him. From this distance here, it's all Khan and he controls everything. Yeah, he's been busy, Jackson. Only turning pro last year in November. And of his 14 defeats, five of those have come by debutants. So Sahil Khan, can he be the next and can he be the first to stop Sean Jackson? Good positive start. Let's have a look at some of the action in that first round. Impressive stuff, Barry. It is, yeah, and what's impressive is it's all nice and long as well. You've got a long, long reach, fast hands, fast feet. And he's using them to his strengths. He's keeping that distance, throwing everything from dist from from length there. So doesn't allow Jackson to fire back or to hold on when he gets caught. I think that was a nice control first round there from Khan. It's a lovely left of the body that Chev, wasn't it, from Khan? I mean, this is debut, right? And I just love the way he's right, varying the punches. It's not just head hunting. He's going to the body. He's going. Uh, he's going to the body. He's going to the head. And what I like also is he's cutting off the ring. He's not just following his opponent. Yeah, good composed, positive start from the debutant, Sahil Khan. As we start this second round, Khan on the front foot once again. Carrying the lead hand quite low, but always trying to bait and draw out the lead from his opponent, Jackson. Jackson not taking that bait at all. Moving. Like I would say, never been stopped. He knows how to survive. He's going to have to call on those survival instincts in this fight as Khan is all over him like a rash. But, but no, Khan's taking control, certainly, of the, of the distance. And the distance in between the two he has control of. Oh, good work. Nice, solid shot. He just sat down on that right hand. Left hook there, did Khan. But now he's got to just start adjusting that left hook a little bit there. That's better. A little bit lower, he wants to go with it. Because 
Jackson, when you throw the right hand, he dips low. The left is going to go over the top of the head, so he just did start adjusting the distance, that reading the, the patterns of Jackson. Yeah, controlling the distance, like you say. Just a couple of times there, Barry, just smothering his work a little bit, but I don't mind it sometimes when it's that eagerness uh, to close the show and entertain the fans. This is a better range. Yeah, I like that. I like that he's come out this round. He worked his man out the first round. He's come out and he said, you know what, I'm going to throw phases now. So he's doing one and two phases. And I really I really like that. And that's how he'll get to his man if he's looking for the stoppage. Oh, good work. No, yeah, spot on there, Chevy. Yes, he has started up the gears a little bit, a little more assertive with this work. And it's Jackson's job now just to fire a few back here. Try and make Khan think about before he comes forward. Yeah, he's enjoying himself in there on his debut. Can both of you remember your debuts, Chev? Oh, mine was a long time ago, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, I, 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 under, I understand that. I understand that. October 92, my debut. 28th of October 1992. 2004. I sold the ticket to Jesus. <laughs> Back on the front foot, Khan just creeping forward, looking, slipping inside and trying to look for that left hook. He's just taking Good. the power off the shots, doesn't he? A little bit buried, yeah. trying to mix things up. And but he doubled up, he doubled up with the backhand there with the right hand, and then when he landed with the second of the body, he twisted up with a nice little uppercut. Just dipping the knees, trying to find openings every which way he can. And that's where the feint works. You know, it's yeah. like Jackson who just dips low to see all the trouble. If you do a little feint and you, and then you you force that movement onto him, then you can start moving around the tag and a little semicircle around the body and that opens him up to the left hook. I mean, even after throwing a jab, jab, sidestep, and then go again. You know, do the phases like that. <laughs> Another round in the bag for Sahil Khan. Some nice work to the body in that second round from Khan. Let's take a look at that now. Yeah, he was more assertive there, wasn't he? Especially with that, with that right hand there, throwing it to the body, bringing it back up with the uppercut. But he, he, he just upped the gears a little bit more on that round. Yeah, the good, as Chev was saying, the good look at him in the first round, working behind the jab, maintaining that distance, staying safe. And in this round, he started just to go through the gears a little bit more. Closing that distance, starting to land with some heavier shots, certainly with the body, body work there. That wasn't the only time he landed with some good shots to the body. And I'm expecting a little bit more in the third as well. Yeah, but he knows how to survive this man. He moves, he ties up his opponents every time Khan gets close. But like you say, Barry, the tempo, the work rate's been good from Khan. It is a four rounder. So he's working hard, he's busy. And again on the front foot behind the jab. Jackson moving an awful lot. But like I say, he's only got another couple of rounds to survive. When I say survive, you know. Well, no, you're right. You're sure, he's not, uh, he hasn't looked in any trouble, but you, that's what he's doing right now. And that's why he, you know, he'll probably stick the four rounds as long as he can, because you, know, <laughs> you come up to the pace like this, you know, he's under a bit of pressure. He hasn't been really hurt yet, but. You, you, took, you, you make this four rounds of six and eight round, then it becomes a bit more of a difficult task here for Jackson. You know, I'd like to, to see Khan go back to the variations of shots rather than just going for the head. You know, jab to the body, jab to the head, and mix it up a little bit. Jackson fighting southpaw for a little bit. I don't know if that is a wise move because that right hand looks dangerous from Khan. And that is the shot for a southpaw, and you see again Jackson just grabbing old, lunging when, forward. When people switch stances, especially when they're not natural to do it, I always say jump on them, because they can't defend as well when they, when they, when they change stance. Yeah, just square on, aren't they, for that split second. Working the jab nicely. Khan oh, doing stance. the same thing, Barry just switching, poking out the jab from either stance. It's, that's really good awareness there from Cam because he's not allowing, he's using that front foot there just to block off the exit there for, of Jackson and without getting too close. He's just uh, taking advantage of his speed, hands down, flowing yeah. and relaxing. And uh, he's just picking his shots and enjoying it. 
That's a nice sustained attack there, four shots. Moves out of range, really quick feet. That's a lovely jab, yes. really, really is. Sharp jab, accurate. It's worked well for him, hasn't it, from the offset of the jab. And, and it's allowed him there in that space and time just to set up the heavier attacks here. No, I think he's so fast that um, he's nullified um, Jackson's jab. Like, you know when he's so fast that you're like, yeah, if, I, yeah. if I throw, he's going to hit me before I get my hands back. So Jackson's just defending at the moment, just using his feet to stay in the fight. And I also think, because Khan's not bringing that front foot too close to the target, Jackson doesn't feel comfortable with throwing anything. He feels like he's too far out. Yeah. He'll spring in the step, dance into his left, Khan. Poking out that jab again. Nice right to the body. Changing up the direction of that shot really, really well. Just taking a little left hand from Jackson there as he threw his left to the body, Khan. See, he's trying to draw out the lead now, Khan, of Jackson, and again. I do like that, the trunk movement there. You know, hit me if you can, hit me if you can. So he can draw out the, the, the lead, as you said, and then counter. Yep, nice composed start from Khan. Nice rhythm, good footwork. We see here springing in out of range after he's thrown a flurry of shots, Barry. Yeah, I, I, I just think his, his awareness where he is all the time in the ring is pretty good, so he can you know, skip out of distance quite well. And he does, you know, because his awareness, his judgment of the distance is, 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 is quite impressive, that he can land with that left hook from body from so far out. He knows where he is. And he's engineering Jackson on the ring with that front foot as well. So as soon as Jackson holds, holds his feet, he knows exactly where he is. He knows he can dip, dip, dip that shoulder, throw the left hook to the body, quite comfortable there, can. It's a good mature display for the young man. It yeah. really is. Yeah, like you say, intelligent stuff on that front foot, pinning Jackson exactly where he wants him. I think we can expect to see more in this fourth and final round. I can imagine Khan's going to go through the gears here. He'd be desperate to get the stoppage, no doubt, with what I've said, what he's done in the amateurs, used to stop an opponent. Oh, we got caught with two. Yeah. Look at that right uppercut, Khan. Nice high guard, high guard though, from Jackson. He's avoiding the shots, taking them on the gloves. Again, just needs a little feint there, doesn't he? Can just fully lets his punches go before he makes a movement. Just to put Jackson in a little bit of a shell. Yeah, he's not offered much at all, Jackson. Every now and again, he might poke the jab out or look for a, a left hand. Out of the southpaw starts, but doesn't offer much. And that may have frustrated Khan a little bit. I think he was hoping that we find a few more openings, but welcome to the pros, welcome to the likes of Sean Jackson, who I just reeled it off there. Fighting for the 14th time already this year. Incredible. I don't know if Jackson heard me, but he's come out and he's throwing a few more jabs now and he's, he, he's trying to go at it. But I think Can's closed the distance a little bit as well. That's allowed Jackson to fire back, but it, it, it's a lesson here for Can. The most important thing is you get him out. He, he gets his, gets it the, the debut out of the way. He gets comfortable under the lights. He, he'll be happy with his performance. He's, he's let his punches go nice and fluid. He's landed with some decent shots against a guy who's very hard to deter, very hard to slow down. And he's barely taking a shot back. And that's that's always a very success, a successful night. Yeah, we've basically seen a bit of everything, haven't we? We've seen some nice, tidy boxing, really quick feet. The jab's been impressive. The shot selection, the variation. Nice right to the body, as I say that, changing the levels, goes back upstairs. That's what you want. Yeah, just uh, just a little bit more change in tempo now and again, but yep. you know, I think you'll learn as you go along. Just you know, flurry a little bit, you know, with light the shots, and then just little just with the feet, then then sit, sit down with some of your punches after that. Just so this it makes it harder for your opponent to read your shots coming. He said that about me in my first fight. Yeah, and, and, it, it, and it took you a load of fights to get it right, mate. <laughs> 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 but you got it right the last time you fought, I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, Absolutely fantastic you were. 
Now, nah, this has been a very mature uh, debut performance for me. Um, you know, for me, his jab has been really good. He's used it as a tool, and um, the variety of shot for me a very, very um, good performance. Yeah, very composed, positive debut for Khan as he goes through the gears right in the closing seconds of this final round. Like Barry said, he'll be over the moon with his debut. Showed us a bit of everything. Showed us he can box. He's aggressive, spiteful. He was always trying to close the show, but Sean Jackson in the opposing corner, showing how tricky he can be. He knows how to survive, and yeah, good debut, Barry. Yeah, no, it was. I think you know what he did. What he did from the offset. I know. He's, again, like I, like I said in, in the in the alley fight. He's not up against a world beater here, so this, we can't get too carried away. But it's his debut, it's a very important night where you can rush your work and you can make mistakes, you can you can smother your work, and he never did that once. He, he, he knew where he was in the ring at all times. He dictated the space, and the space in between the two fighters, which is the most important space. He always knew where he was. He, always, he got Jackson on the end of every shot he threw. Very economically sound he was there. Didn't, didn't miss him any shots. I thought it was a good performance. He showed a little bit of uh, good footwork at times. A bigger test at ahead, obviously, but he gets it out of the way. We were happy to see him. I thought he, I thought he looked good, sharp. I think he got a bit of snap in his punches as well. So he, he'll be a good prospect to watch. Yeah, box ticked. Debut out of the way, one he can enjoy, look back on and be impressed with and happy with. And he'll move on, like you say, Barry, to tougher test. But let's hear from David Diamante as he announces the winner of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here in Birmingham, we go to referee Christopher Dean's scorecard. It reads 40 to 36 for your winner, Sahil Khan. Yep, so Sahil Khan gets his professional journey underway. A solid win over Manchester Sean Jackson. Positive display, big smiles. There's a few in the crowd.